Happy Wednesday and good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's virtual event, Ways to Make Easy and Lighter Cocktails, brought to you by the LCBO. My name is Dante, and I will be your host for the evening, and we're so excited to be streaming live with you guys tonight. We have LCBO product consultants active in the chat rooms tonight, so if you are at home, please feel free to participate, engage, ask some questions. I have a live feed just to my left here, so I will answer as many questions as I possibly can live on air. Tonight, we are going to be exploring a couple trending topics in the beverage industry, and starting with lower or low alcohol cocktails. Now, we are in the age of the conscious consumer, meaning that every day, more and more people are paying attention to what they're putting in their bodies, the food and drink they're consuming. Ingredient labels are actually being read and people are finding ways to integrate healthier and more conscious things into their everyday routine. And right now we are in prime time of the year where people are starting to implement such changes, starting off their new year on the right foot or finding their, their new self. Um, and Tonight, we're going to explore that a little bit more by making these four easy to make drinks, whether you're counting a few calories or just looking to lighten up on the sugar a tiny bit. Uh, I'm so excited to share these recipes with you. And we're going to move into that by talking about the whiskey highball. Now, the whiskey highball by no means is not a new cocktail. Uh, and history suggests that the highball cocktail actually dates back to the late 19th century. But more recently, we've seen a big resurgence in this cocktail in bars around the world. Now, cue Japan, where the highball is king. Uh, thousands, pre-pandemic, of course, would pour into izakayas or their form of a pub or happy hour spot and responsibly indulge in a highball cocktail. Now, the highball cocktail is a great starting point for our list of cocktails tonight because it's going to add some it's going to add some great flavor um, and it's going to kind of show us where all the options are as we get through the rest. Um, so starting with that, if you are following along at home and making cocktails with us tonight, please do enjoy responsibly. Uh, so we'll start with our first cocktail and that is going to be the whiskey and citrus highball made with Johnny Walker Red Label blended scotch whiskey. So we'll grab our highball glass and we'll start by adding some ice. And we will measure our full ounce of Johnny Walker Red Label blended scotch whiskey. Now, there are a lot of whiskeys that will work for this style of cocktail. A uh, great Canadian whiskey like Crown Royal has a great flavor as well. I choose to use Johnny Walker Red Label because I feel it has a vibrant spice and aroma. Uh, it also offers a little bit of smoke to the cocktail as well. Uh, so we're going to enhance this a little bit with some bitters. So we're going to put two dashes of Angostura bitters in here. And then we're going to finish this off with some soda water. Four to six ounces is just perfect for this drink. This cocktail that I'm making tonight has about four to five ounces. And for garnish, I'm going to be using some dehydrated blood orange and some fresh thyme. Now I'm using a dehydrated blood orange because I find that it's easier to keep around the house. It lasts much longer than fresh citrus. I don't have to worry about keeping fresh citrus fresh uh, throughout the season, especially for something seasonal like the blood orange. Um, very easy to make at home. You can pick up a dehydrator or you can use your oven uh, on the lowest setting. You can look up some recipes on, on Google as well. Um, and if you don't want to get too crafty, you can also buy dehydrated garnish at uh, like a bulk food store or a local cocktail store like Cocktail Emporium right here in Toronto. So dehydrated blood orange. We'll put some nice fresh thyme in there. And there you have it. That is your Johnny Walker Red Label Whiskey and Citrus Highball. We'll set that aside. 
checking my feed to see if there's any questions coming through. We'll move on to our next cocktail, which is the gin and sonic. Uh, it is a twist on the classic gin and tonic, one of my favorite classic cocktails. But for this, we're going to do half and half. We're going to take out a little bit of that tonic and add in some soda water, lighten that up, cut back a little bit on the sugar. So we're going to grab our Tangare London Dry Gin and add some ice to our glass. And of course, we will measure one ounce so we can consume responsibly tonight. And in a typical highball in some restaurants and establishments, you might find that they put an ounce and a half. And we, what we are trying to accomplish tonight is lowering that alcohol, that alcohol beverage or that alcohol content in our long drinks. So we will only use one ounce in all the cocktails we're making tonight. Top of a little more ice. And then we'll do our mixture of tonic water and soda water. Now I choose to use Tangare London Dry Gin because it adds a great base or acts as a great base for a cocktail like this, such a simple, simple cocktail. The recipe has virtually unchanged since the 1830s and is a combination of just four botanicals. It's got juniper, coriander, angelica root, licorice, great base flavor for something light like this. And then we'll uh, top our tonic off with our soda water. And we'll add some more vibrance to this cocktail. We're gonna keep that effervescence there, but we're gonna add some rosemary and some fresh cucumber into our drink. Nice fresh cucumber. And some rush rosemary. Fresh vibrant flavors that come from the cucumber and nice herbal essence coming from that rosemary really accentuate the flavors of the classic London dry gin that we use uh, with Tangeray. And that is your gin and sonic cocktail. Mm -hmm. Last, we're going, I mean, not last, sorry, third cocktail we're going to make tonight is going to be made with Don Julio Blanco tequila. And we are going to be making the ruby red Tequila highball. Glass here. Again, we'll add fresh ice to our glass. We're going to add some tequila. And of course, as usual, we're going to pour one ounce of our tequila into our drink. Right, into, right over our fresh ice. And a little bit about Don Julio tequila. It is a tequila that comes from the highlands of Jalisco in Mexico. Uh, great tequila. It is a premium tequila. Uh, and I love using it as a base spirit because the better quality spirit you can use in your highballs, because they're so simple, the better end result you're going to get. Um, now, things that I like about Don Julio are the fact that they don't have any additives in their tequila. They space out their agave plants much further than other tequila producers so that they fully ripen. It takes about eight to 10 years for an agave plant to fully mature. And the ones at Don Julio are, you know, looking more like 10 to 12 years. So really give them the time and the space that they need to grow to make that quality spirit. Um, grapefruit juice is a great complement to Don Julio tequila. So I'm gonna use fresh pressed grapefruit juice. I always like to use fresh juice whenever possible. It just gives you that nice vibrancy that you just can't get from store-bought juice. Uh, the amount of juice that you use in this cocktail is, is really up to you. It's uh, up to your discretion. I'm gonna use an ounce and a half. Uh, I love grapefruit juice, especially fresh pressed grapefruit juice. Now you can start to see we're adding more and more ingredients as we kind of go along. Uh, this is the first time we are going to use some fresh juice. I'm just going to give this a quick stir before we add in our soda water. Pop that up a little more ice. 
we'll continue on with our soda. It's a nice, beautiful color. And then we're going to top this off with uh, some grapefruit and some mint. Uh, I have two options here. I've prepared both dehydrated grapefruit and fresh grapefruit. So it's up to you whether, uh, whether which one you would like to use. Uh, but for tonight's purpose, I'm going to throw one of each in there just so you guys can see the difference. So this is a uh, fresh grapefruit and then a dehydrated grapefruit. Again, easy to make at home. Nice to keep around. They last so long. They can last for even up to a year as long as all the moisture is out of them and they're stored in a nice airtight container in a, in a dark place. So I'm going to add two grapefruit slices here and some fresh mint. The fresh mint really benefits from giving it a nice little hello with the palm of your hand. Let it wake up. Uh, really releases those oils and those aromas. That way, whenever you bring that glass up, to, up for a sip, you're getting that nice, big, fresh mint aroma. And that is your Ruby Red and Tequila Highball. Can't wait to try all of these after, uh, or drink, have a sip of these after we're done here. Uh, question above, I've got a question. Uh, can I switch out tequila for cachaca? You absolutely can. A lot of these recipes uh, are just act as a, as a foundation for your own creativity. Uh, cachaca is the number one spirit that sells in Brazil. You will get a little bit more of a, a vegetal flavor profile because cachaca is made using sugarcane juice as opposed to a rum, which is molasses based. Um, but you will get some similar profiles and you absolutely can use cachaca. And there's quite a few available in the LCBO that, that you can use. Um, and for our, our, last, our final drink for the evening, we are going to be using Smirnoff Infusions Strawberry and Rose, and we're going to be making the Infusion Fizz. Now, Smirnoff Infusions is fairly recent to the LCBO, and I, I really like this spirit because it's a great lower ABV or alcohol by volume option. It's 30% ABV, and it still packs a lot of flavor. There's no added sugar. It's only 70 calories per serving, and it provides a lot of great, vibrant flavor to such a simple long drink like we're making tonight. So we're going to start with our glass as we do and add some ice. The one that we're using tonight is strawberry and rose. There are a couple other variations available in the LCBO. There, I believe, is cucumber and lime and watermelon and mint. All great choices for simple, refreshing cocktails. So one ounce into our glass. And this one is going to be the simplest of the night. This one's going to get topped just with our soda water. So we're going to fill that all the way up with soda. Again, four to six ounces is perfect, however you'd like. I always like to pack my glass fresh with fresh ice, keep it nice and cold. Another tip, if you really want a nice cold beverage, you can keep your glassware or your spirits in the fridge or in the freezer, and that way there's not as much dilution happening so fast. Um, and then we're going to garnish this with a cucumber ribbon and some fresh basil. Now it always helps if you play off the actual flavors of base spirit that you're using. Uh, fresh cucumber is gonna add some nice vibrancy to that. And then basil, basil and strawberries are a quintessential flavor combination. So I love using fresh basil with strawberries. And if you wanna take it a step further, you can even include some of those flavors that are coming from that base spirit. So I've, I've actually got some, uh, some fresh strawberries as well that we can put into our drink. So if you want to switch out that cucumber ribbon for some fresh strawberries, you can do that. And then you've got yourself an infusion fizz made with Swernoff infusion, strawberry and rose. That is it. Um, I do want to thank you for joining us this evening. It's been a great pleasure showing you guys these cocktails. Uh, I can't wait to try them. I can't wait for you guys to try them. If you are trying them at home, again, please do enjoy responsibly. Uh, if you are curious about any of the products that we talked about tonight or are looking for the recipes, there are descriptions in the bio below. Uh, you can click on those and get right to it. 
if you're already sold and want to go ahead and try these cocktails very fast, then you can purchase on the LCBO website. There are locations. The LCBO is open. You can go to the LCBO or there are online options you can do. You can order online and deliver to store. You can do uh, same day pickup at some locations with some locations even offering curbside pickup. Um, thank you again for joining us for tonight's virtual event, Ways to Make Easy and Lighter Cocktails. Thank you. Uh, have a great new year and good night.